trouble much. So you are given with this acceleration, uh, which is a function of uh, uh, time given. So this is your actual path. This is this horizontal line is the path. So in this path, you have origin at zero, and then 20 meters, uh, your starting point is at t equals zero. And that's what is X naught. So here, what is your X naught is 20 meter. X naught is 20 meter. And V naught velocity here is 4 meter per second. That's given. So now what is the distance traveled by 9 seconds last? So uh, see here, A naught is what initially that we could find out. When T equals 0, A equals minus 8 meter per second square. So what is this minus sign uh, would indicate? In positive direction, the velocity 4 meters per second will reduce in the next instant. So it is decelerating. So minus sign uh, in the positive direction express the particle goes slower and slower in the positive direction. Right? So minus sign uh, in the negative direction, particle goes uh, uh, faster and faster in negative direction. That's the meaning. So uh, we have already discussed on that. So now uh, if I look at mathematically just to work out, I have my acceleration. I know the definition of acceleration is dv by dt. So I just put it and then take dt on the other side. I have now this equation. <coughs> then uh, put the limit v naught to v. So I have v minus 4 and this side I have uh, its integral varying uh, limits with the limit 0 to t. So I will be able to have my variation of velocity as function of time now. And then you see here, uh, 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 again, uh, you know, the definition of V is dx by dt. So if I substitute, I would be able to get my expression of variation of position. So here I get V as function of x, and here I get x as function of, oh, sorry, V as function of time. Here I get uh, uh, x as function of time. And then in this, if I substitute 9, I get x9. So x9 is what position? When 9 seconds, what is the position? is known at the zeroth time and that is initially the position is 20 meters so displacement is uh, uh, x9 minus x0 so i get 36 meters so what is this is displacement but what is the distance traveled is the question asked so that you would be able to answer uh, if you uh, uh, actually you should know uh, its motion curve that it will give you an insight. So what is that is happening? You understand that at t equals zero, a naught is uh, uh, a naught is minus eight meter per second square. So that is uh, deceleration. That means the velocity uh, four meter per second is going to reduce. So there is a point when velocity zero is a point of reversal that's called. Uh, then again. Uh, uh, that, uh, 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 if 9 seconds also velocity does not become 0, then it is not motion is not completed, you could say. So there may be velocity here. So that is uh, something which you cannot uh, visualize. That's why you should draw the motion curves. So if you plot the motion curves, it would be uh, evident for you to make a judgment. So that's exactly what is there here. So let me just uh, uh, enlarge this. See, uh, now I have this is my acceleration equation. So I have just plotted a t graph, what is given. And then uh, here v t to plot, you see velocity, what we have got is a quadratic variation. So v is a, a quadratic parabolic equation. So I will have uh, the roots of this 2 when v equals 0. When I make v 0 velocity, I will have time, uh, 2 time instant, I will have 0 velocities. So that's what is happening here. So when I uh, have that uh, uh, here, uh, so you are given V naught 4 and V9, what is that you can find out at 9 seconds, 40 meters per second. So if I substitute here, I get this velocity is 40 meters per second. So again, it is what uh, this positive value. That means that the ninth second, the particle executing motion in the positive direction. But where is it located? We do not know. So that let it be there. Then here, here again, you see, um, uh, this is for the purpose of plotting I have about V3 because when acceleration is zero, it's uh, uh, what is it? It's first derivative of velocity. So you will have its maximum or minimum value. So that would be clear looking at its second derivative. So its second derivative <coughs> uh, happens to be minus eight. That's why you have here minimum function. So uh, when you put V3 
uh, you get minus 8 meters per second. So third second, you see the direction of velocity is in this direction, this minus sign. So this is all not very clear now, but it will be clear now by construct this. So I just have here minus uh, uh, 8 meter per second. So I get here this point. And uh, when I make, uh, what is the time when velocity becomes zero? Because it is of degree two. So I have two time steps. So 5.45 again and 0.55 seconds. Both are positive. That's what I get it here. So here there is a point when velocity is zero. There is a point when velocity is zero. So <clears throat> what does that it refers to? When velocity is zero, so if I go there, see, uh, I will have here some value of acceleration. So if I substitute this time here, from there on, I will have a, a, a positive value of acceleration. That's the meaning. Here also positive value is there, but positive value there, it is uh, referring deceleration. After that only it is acceleration. That's why the velocity here, if you look at below this graph, it's a negative velocity. What is the meaning of minus velocity? It is towards negative direction. But initially it started moving from 20 meters to the right like this. So uh, when the direction is reverse, that means it is uh, decelerating that you could say. So next step is uh, uh, finding out these critical points so that I get now uh, initial velocity 4 meters per second and then this point and this is its uh, uh, um, slope is zero at this point here. Uh, that is why acceleration is zero. So corresponding to that, what is the velocity that I have got? And again, at this time, uh, I have velocity zero. After that, the velocity increases. So when I substitute uh, their velocity uh, uh, at nine seconds, what is that I get is this 40 meters per second. So that's what is marked here. So this is how I plot my velocity variation. So you could also witness that here it's linear variation. So here it is parabolic variation. And then my uh, uh, variation of position will have cubic variation. And that's what is uh, uh, you've got here, variation of x, this, this equation you have got it. So in this, uh, uh, x naught is 20. That is why I start from there. So wherever uh, its first derivative is 0, you will have either maxima or minima. And uh, this maxima, how do you conclude? If you look at its corresponding second derivative negative value, then it is maxima. That's evident here. Uh, see, if I just take it this point, it's negative value, it's second derivative. So this is maximum point. If you look at here, <coughs> uh, you have second derivative positive value. So this is minima. So uh, same way, I can just plot this uh, variation position. So what I have to do now, I have to take this critical points. That is, uh, when uh, uh, velocity is zero, I will have this guiding path. That is the maximum value. So I will substitute uh, t 0.55 in this equation. So I will have my position correspondingly. So that is 21.06 meter. So initially it is at 20 meters uh, starting its position. It goes to this point uh, where this is what is its maximum position in positive direction. After that, again, position reduces. That means what? The direction of motion is reversed. And then it is zero means it's coming back to origin. Then again, it goes in a negative minus uh, position value means negative direction. Till what position it goes? So that would be corresponding to this 5.45 seconds. So I'll have to also find out uh, the position for this 5.45 seconds. So that if I do, it's minus uh, 5.06 seconds. Uh, sorry, 0, 06 meter. That's what is marked here. So I get now in my path um, the um, uh, boundaries, right? I, I will come to the path and explain you. Uh, and then you see here this point. Uh, um, after this, I had to get uh, um, these two point corresponding time steps. How do I do that? This is a cubic equation. If you solve for this cubic equation, uh, making position zero, uh, you'll be able to get time. So when all position can be zero, or what time it is zero when it's solved, I can get this three values because it's cubic equation, which which can be solved easily in a calculator as well. So you see now 6.61 and this is positive and one is negative. So negative time is not uh, meaningful. But if you are mathematically plotting that somewhere here, that's what I, I don't consider this, but I have to consider these two. So these two, if you see, this is smaller time value. So that is what is corresponds to this 4.068 and uh, 6.61 corresponds to this. 
so that's beyond the six right and then after that any uh, value uh, till nine it will be increasing in position so when x is equal to nine i get 56 meter so x is equal to nine i get 56 meter so this is how i can plot my motion curves so before starting only i know since the acceleration is linear my velocity variation should be of uh, degree two polynomial and my position variation should be of degree three polynomial and uh, uh, I, I would be first finishing this, then you look at basically what is the meaning of this. <laughs> so see here, uh, I have this is my origin reference fixed point. So, but initially the uh, particle is at, located at position 20 meters and it starts its motion with the four meters per second. That's why positive direction, but it goes to what distance 21.06 meters only that's what you see here from the variation of x so this is what you have got it this you got it that is here so that is what is the point where the velocity is zero here is where velocity is become zero the so velocity is zero means it is not stopping it is reversing its direction so next time uh, 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 next instant what is happening you see it is position decreases position decreases so it goes and when position is 0, 4.068 seconds. So it comes uh, when it crosses here. Uh, what is the time here corresponding is 4.068 seconds. And then uh, uh, it, it goes to uh, uh, this position because you had a velocity again 0 when 1 is at this point uh, that is corresponding to this so 0 point. I think it's marked here. I do. Yeah, smart here. So at this position, another time when uh, velocity zero is uh, when t equals uh, 5.45 seconds, I think. So when I put that uh, here, I get this position. So uh, in the path uh, in the negative direction minus 5.06 meters, I have my velocity again zero. After that, it is again reverse point. After that, it is uh, increasing velocity only, positive velocity, and the position will be increasing. So this is actually its path. So the particle starts, goes in positive direction till this distance, and then again it is reversing its motion, goes till this distance. Uh, at that time, time taken is only 5.45 seconds. After that, beyond this time uh, value step, you see that is uh, taking again uh, uh, direction towards positive direction and uh, we stop this motion uh, consideration till uh, t equals 9 seconds because it's asked. So now here it is 56 meter and initially it is uh, 20 meters. So what is displacement? Shortest distance between uh, the two time interval. So that's why 56 minus 20, 36 meter is the displacement. But now distance traveled is asked, so you should put it like this. Distance traveled is the modulus value of x naught minus x of this time step. That is uh, this 0 0.55. Then from there onwards, it's going in negative direction. So again, it is x of this minus uh, this modulus value. And then from here, it is increasing. Then I have to get this. So uh, I know those positions clearly here. By substituting, I'd be able to have my distance travel. So this is how you should solve.